Sustainability is love that we extend to the world. We want to make sure that we actually want to be here, that it's a world that reflects our values and our vision for what it means to be alive. We brought in all local makers and artisans to come in and really put their love, put their crafts peopleship into this home uh, so that there's such great care and love built right into it. This is the most exciting feature within the house. This is solar thermal. And these are tubes filled with liquid that has a very low boiling point. So basically the sun heats this very easily and creates heat that goes down into the basement and boils water, actually makes it at 90 plus degrees even when it's 20 degrees outside. So even in the dead of winter, we're getting a tremendous amount of heat from the sun. It's amazing what these things can do. This is actually where you come up the stairs from the parlor floor and enter my mother's room, which is gonna have lots of light. It's very important when my mom moved near me that she had a lot of light. That way I didn't lose her to Florida, you know? Everybody always wants to move to Florida when they get to a certain age. And I was like, well, mom, if I give you enough light, you gotta stay here. And she said, okay. So look, you can see the radiant heat tubing. Essentially what radiant heat is, it's a series of tubes. The tubes go throughout the floor in a pattern and bring hot water that actually heats the floor. And then the heat, of course, rises and heats the home. Everyone try to have a legacy to live on this earth and the way how they shape this earth. You, you, you cannot look forward to the future if you don't create it. So this is where I have to create that future as a legacy for them to look forward and to see it and say, you know what, when Chester Bertrand was here, right, he did something to change the world and to change the way how everyone look at sustainability or look at this planet. Chester, he's in charge of all the radiant heat and the solar thermal. And he's passionate about it, which is something I look for. It's like somebody who really cares about this work and the why, why they're doing it. I was born in a country called Trinidad and Tobago. And um, one of the things growing up in a little island is that you learn to do many things. One, you learn to reuse what you can, recycle what you can, and, and also reclaim what you can. So we understand this cycle of nature. We have in the basement, also apart from our regular tanks, we have what we call a heat accumulation tank. Okay. So what it does, even in the winter, in the summertime, it always absorbs, it's always sucking all the heat as best as it can from the loop. And at, and at night, especially in the winter, for the radiant, instead of activating the boilers to provide heating, it will release that heat into the floor. If you look here, I mean, it's pretty cold out there. Right now, we are operating at 75 degrees. So, no matter how cold it is, it's still 75 degrees in here, just because of the solar thermal. And then if you look back here, these are flash water heaters, and they take that water at 75 degrees and they ramp it up. These tubes have the ability to, to reflect the heat on the inside to where the copper pipe is gonna go into it without, without getting so dangerously hot where you can't handle it. And this is an important aspect of this home by using, by using these type of sustainable materials with, within it. Brooklyn is gonna become a very powerful city in the near future because of ideas like these that we're gonna implement in, we're trying to implement in most of the homes. And when everyone in Brooklyn starts to see that you can push your boundaries and push yourself beyond what your comfort zone, then we can create a better society.